chefs, liver champions, and local supporters come together for an intimate evening of dining that benefits the American Liver Foundation. Yeah, this year marks the 20th anniversary of Flavors, a culinary experience in Denver. It's an event that takes place in 17 cities across the nation, and it raises over two and a half million dollars every year. So here to tell us how it really just makes such a big difference, we have a, a great team here this morning. We have Dr. Elizabeth uh, Pomfret. She's the chief transplant surgery of you know, University of Colorado Hospital. She's joined by Dr. James Burton, uh, the medical director of liver transplantation at University of Colorado Hospital. And we also have Julianne Swan, uh, who is the director of the Rocky Mountain Division of the American Liver Foundation. Thank you all for being here this morning. And Julianne, we'll, we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit more about Flavors. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Flavors of Denver is a unique culinary gala. Uh, where the community comes together to celebrate life and a liver uh, patient shares his or her story. Um, it's the American Liver Foundation signature fundraising event and chefs um, from around Colorado, renowned chefs such as Yaya's, Del Frisco's, Epicurean Catering, mm -hmm. come together um, to eradicate liver disease by cooking up a storm table side for guests of oh, ten. Wow. So the funds raised during this event um, go towards our education programs, our support services, and research. And um, as you said, this is our 20th anniversary of Flavors of Denver this year. It's presented by Toyota. And um, our liver champion this year that we are going to recognize is Melinda Ray from Centennial. And she's going to actually share her story of living donor transplantation. Yeah, let's uh, take it to Dr. Pomfort and Dr. Burton. Tell us a little bit about Melinda Ray's uh, liver disease and her story. Well, Melinda was a patient of mine, uh, and still is, but uh, she has a, con a genetic condition called uh, polycystic liver disease. This is a condition where uh, cyst, fluid-filled sacs, fill up in the liver. These can be a multitude, innumerable cysts that uh, take up space in the abdomen. Uh, it doesn't really lead to liver failure most often, but it can be a very life-changing uh, problem with abdominal pain, problems eating, difficulty breathing. Oh. I saw Melinda for this condition and uh, recommended she have a liver transplant. Currently, organs are allocated based on uh, liver failure conditions, which she doesn't have. This is more of a quality of life thing, and I recommended she consider a living donor liver transplant, where part of a normal liver is taken out of a donor, a healthy donor, and her entire liver is removed, and that wow. donor liver is given to her. Wow, that, that's incredible that it comes from a, a living donor. So who, who can be a, a living donor? How does that work? Typically, a donor needs to be between the ages of 18 and 50, someone who's very healthy without any significant medical problems and uh, also needs to be thin as fat can take up space in the liver and doesn't provide any function. Mm. So who saved her life? Well, it was her, uh, she went through many donors uh, who came through evaluation and uh, eventually uh, someone saw this on Facebook, really? uh, someone who really didn't know her but was a friend of a friend of a friend. Are we looking at their picture came, right now? So you don't and have to be forward. related. It doesn't have to be, you know, a, a perfect match. No, and in this case, um, Jeff Bramstead was her donor and he's a former Navy SEAL wow. and uh, his wife had told him about uh, Melinda because she was friendly with Melinda's sister. Oh my That's goodness. incredible. What a beautiful story. So t tell us, uh, if, if we wouldn't mind talking a little bit about uh, the risks maybe to donors. I'm sure people have those questions and, and maybe who pays for the surgery, things like that. So in living donor liver transplantation, the uh, you heard Dr. Burton just describe that the donor has to be healthy. Mm -hmm. We're taking a portion of that donor's liver depending on the size of the recipient. So for a child, it would be a very small portion, about 15 to 20 percent. And for an adult, it would be anywhere between 40 and 60 percent of their liver volume. The uh, surgery for the donor is typically paid for by the recipient mm -hmm. insurance. Okay. Uh, can someone donate part of their liver to someone even if they don't know anyone who needs a transplant? Yes, we call that non-directed or altruistic donation and wow. uh, Colorado is unique in that um, that we actually have a fair number of altruistic donors so you don't need to have a particular recipient in mind if mm -hmm. you're interested in being a liver donor for okay. either you know, a child recipient mm -hmm. or an adult. And wow. if they go through the process of donating a part of their liver, how long do they, you know, generally stay in the hospital? 
So most donors are in the hospital somewhere between four to six days, okay. and then uh, the recovery varies depending on how much liver tissue we remove. Wow, that's so incredible. Thank Love you. learning Thank about you. this. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. We appreciate it. And for more information on the American Liver Foundation, you can call them at 303-988-4388 or visit liverfoundation.org slash ALF dash Rocky dash Mountain for more information. Still up ahead on Colorado.